Well, good morning. Here we are again, another Friday, another week. Uh, hopefully well spent. Uh, today is September 18th, 2020, and we are going to talk about spiritual short-sightedness, which ought to be an interesting little topic. Uh, we're in Luke uh, chapter 12, and we're going to go through verses 13 through 21, starting now. Someone in the crowd said to him, teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, man, who appointed me judge or arbitrator over you? That kind of sounds like a 70s thing, right? Man, who appointed you? <laughs> okay. Then he said to them, beware and be on your guard against every form of greed, for not even when one has an abundance does his life consist of his possessions. And he told them a parable saying, the land of a rich man was very productive. And he began reasoning to himself saying, what shall I do since I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have many good laid up, many goods laid up for many years to come. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your soul is required of you. And now who will own what you have prepared? So is the man who stores up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. I'm gonna hit just one scripture here, uh, 1215. Let me roll up to that so you can see it, uh, what we're gonna be talking about. And it goes on to the, uh, towards the end of it, uh, where it says, be on guard uh, against every form of greed, for not even when one has an abundance does his life consent, consist of his possessions. True salvation in life flows out of fulfilling the purpose for which we were created to enjoy an intimate relationship with God. Wealth can never substitute for a relationship with him and it will ultimately only make the heart feel hollow. And that, 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 that's a quote from Ecclesiastes 6, 2. So again, uh, riches, keep them in, uh, keep them in perspective uh, with, uh, with your spiritual life and everything else. Nothing says you can't be successful. But uh, when you let those riches take over your life, that's when the, that's when the trouble starts. So keep God God centered goals, and and you'll be you'll be in good shape. Let's get into this uh, short sightedness, myopia, or nearsightedness, is a condition in which the eye cannot focus on distant objects. And I've had that all my life. Today, this physical defect is easily treatable with corrective lenses, but spiritual myopia is more dangerous because it has consequences throughout eternity. And I've had spiritual myopia times in my life as well, uh, and you may have as well. Now to emphasize the importance of an eternal perspective, Jesus told a story about a rich man who couldn't see beyond his present life. His enjoyment and security were wrapped up in the abundance of his wealth, possessions, and comforts. And although he may have been honored and respected by others for his great achievements, in God's eyes, he was a fool. That's because he stored up treasure for himself, but was bankrupt before the Lord. In order to make deposits in heaven's bank, following Christ must be more important than any worldly ambition or priority. His kingdom and righteousness should direct our plans, pursuits, and pleasures. And that's when we talked about God-centered goals. Everything goes Go through God to get your goals. And you can read some more about that in Colossians 3, 1 through 4. In fact, let's just do that right now. We're all together here. Therefore, if you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, is revealed, when you also will be reeled with him in glory. Uh, and it, cause it says, instead of having an er earthly focus, it is better to set our minds on things above where Christ is. If we do this, our affections and ambitions will follow and we will become rich toward God. And that's one of the things we talk about uh, in A to B for me is 
uh, the habits that you develop. In other words, your, what, your thoughts are going to control your actions uh, and then your actions are gonna control your habits. And it's the habits that build that character. And once you get, get a God-centered God goals, a God-centered life, then those affections and your ambitions will follow. And uh, you'll not only be successful on, on, on earth, with earthly things, but you'll become rich toward God. All right. Well, Bible in one year tonight, we're in Hosea 69. I hope you enjoyed that, uh, uh, that last night, the, you know, the first five chapters, a uh, uh, little bit interesting reading, right? For the Bible. Uh, not quite song of Solomon, but kind of interesting. Uh, but, uh, tonight we're doing Hosea six through nine. So keep reading, keep it rolling. Uh, keep your string going. If you miss a night, just go back and catch up. Uh, but keep that uh, Bible in the one year string going. And uh, at the end of the year, you'll be glad for it. And I'll tell you, it'll be a, it'll, that'll be a habit. And uh, you'll, you'll just keep it going and, and, uh, and you'll be, you'll be richer for it on earth. All right. Well, that's it for spiritual sort side and that's for today, but have a great, uh, rest of the week. You got, got a few hours to finish out this week. Keep it strong and, uh, and we will, will absolutely see you in the morning. Uh, so, uh, have a great day. Uh, and if you're in Virginia, my area, you know, be safe out there. We've had some rains. So, uh, so be careful. Uh, and God bless all the folks down there in Alabama and all up through there who, you're having some issues with uh, with Sally coming through. So uh, get your prayers out for them and, and keep them in, in your heart So today uh, because a lot of folks down there, that, that they need that from us. So uh, just keep them in your, in your thoughts and prayers today. All right, well, we will talk to you tomorrow. Until then, just relax. God's in control. We'll see you then.